When I was working on the book, I realised that in, in terms of, of my interpretation, the most important thing about the Spanish Armada was what's not true about it. Again, the Armada is something that everyone knows about. It's very much part of, of, of the, the construction of British national identity. It, it plays a huge part, a sort of atavistic part, um, in our conception of ourselves. And I think lots of people probably could still recite parts of the speech Elizabeth made at Tilbury Camp um, by heart. What made me excited was that, again, as with Elizabeth, there's always something more to see. Um, she may not have made the famous speech at Tilbury Camp at all. Um, she simply may never have said it. Um, it wasn't written down by anyone there. We have no draft of the speech. It exists in two versions, um, one of which is, is a verse published about 30 years after the event, um, and the other which is painted on a, a wall of a small and obscure country church. Um, possibly, and very probably, Elizabeth did speak these words, or words in a similar format. Um, but they're very different um, than what we're supposed to believe she actually said, and certainly not to be taken for granted. And of course the other thing, as with Elizabeth, it's always, always about the propaganda. Um, the speech to the soldiers at Tilbury Camp occurred not as they were about to, to sail off from the, the English coast and do battle with the Spanish fireships, but in fact after the, the, the Spanish fleet had been scattered by a combination of naval ingenuity on the part of the English, which was a small percentage of the victory, and bad weather, which was a much greater percentage. So the, this idea we have of Elizabeth riding to inspect her troops. Um, every generation of, of, of historians has added something extra to her costume, so we start off with her wearing a breastplate in the 17th century, and by the 19th century she's practically in full armour, on a white charger and waving her sword, um, addressing the troops um, in, in these, these extraordinary, rousing words um, to inspire them to give their lives, for, to, to save England from the Spanish threat. It's rubbish. It's just a fantastic propaganda coup. Um, by the time Elizabeth made the speech at Tilbury, if indeed she made any speech at Tilbury, there was no danger. The Armada was gone. Um, it was simply a matter of, of mopping things up. Um, the importance of the Armada, um, at least in terms of, of the objective of this book, um, was not what happened militarily, although there are some absolutely excellent books on that subject, but the lead up to the Armada, how things had got quite so bad with Spain and why it was that um, Elizabeth and her, her fellow monarch Philip of Spain were pushed slightly against their own wills into this situation of, of extreme enmity and also to talk about how it was that Elizabeth as ever seized brilliantly on an occasion which frankly was a bit of a damp squib and turned it into this extraordinary piece of Elizabethan propaganda.